Hi everyone, my name is Tanya. I make videos on practical planning, organization, and small business. Hi, are you on Facebook? If so, please head over to my Facebook page and like and follow me there. Are you on YouTube? Hey, hi! If so, please be sure to like this video and subscribe. And are you on Instagram? If so, please follow me at Tanya underscore plans. I am so excited to be talking about journals because often when I go into TJ Maxx, I love going in their stationery section and seeing what types of journals that they have. I actually purchased this one from TJ Maxx, but if you don't have one near you, I will put some links below on where you can get a journal like this in case you're interested. And also at the end of this video, I will show you a way to get a promo code on some journals if you're interested. And now I would like to show you a flip through of my journal. In this journal, I love it because it has a padded cover. You can't really see it there, but I can press down on it. But it's a hard padded cover and it's a great, great quality journal. So how I keep my journal is at the top here, let me go to another page because that was my first page. At the top here, I'll write the day of the week and over to the left here, I'll write the time that I wrote in the journal and the date. And I like to write out the month. That way, if I use numbers, I don't want anyone trying to say, okay, what's month seven? You know, if it's a young child reading my journal one day, which I don't think it'll be because I'm not having any more children. But anyway, this is just the format that I use at the top of every entry. And of course, you can pick whatever format that you would like to use. And I start each entry out with something that I'm grateful for. And on this particular day, I wrote, I'm grateful to be living in the United States of America. Despite the United States problems, this is still the best place in the world to live. So that's what I was grateful for. And there's another thing that I'm grateful for. Um, I wrote, I am grateful to have friends that want to spend time with me. So every day I just write something grateful and what this does is as I'm flipping through my journal from time to time looking at my entries, sometimes I'll just glance at what I'm grateful for and I make sure that I write what I'm grateful for at the top of each journal entry because that way I can just quickly scan it and see what I'm grateful for. Now as you're flipping through here you'll see, now my handwriting is chicken scratch and some of you may be thinking about a journal and you're like man my handwriting is terrible okay my handwriting is atrocious it my handwriting is awful and i actually type faster than i write and i used to try to type a journal but the reason i don't type in like microsoft word or some other type of word processing program the reason I don't type my journals is because I work in IT and I am on the computer all day and when I get home from work, the last thing I want to do is be on the computer again trying to write a journal entry. I just, I don't, I don't want to be on the computer like that when I get home. So the journal to me is not about having neat handwriting. My handwriting is very sloppy. And on those days when I may be upset about something or emotional about something, my handwriting really gets sloppy on those days. I don't worry about anyone reading it. I don't even worry about myself coming back and reading it. It's more about just getting those thoughts out on paper just to get it out and feel better, if that makes sense. So continuing to flip through here, when I first started writing, and that's just a sticker I just stuck in there, but um, when I first started writing, and here is where I wrote some ancestry information. I am doing a genealogy, and I was talking on the phone, and I was like, oh, well, let me just write these, this information down while I have it. And this is information I want to keep. So I said, I'll just put it in my journal so I'll make sure I have it. As I flip through here, as you can see, I just write whatever is on my mind that day. Um, on this day, I wrote down my weight and what my goal is for my business. Here on this day, I wrote something I was grateful for, which I try to do every day. And I wrote information about my successes. What did I accomplish? Why is it important to write down what you accomplished? Because life goes so fast, you'll forget. You don't want to forget. I love to just, just write down what is something that was successful. In this particular day, I wrote down that I lost 0.8 pounds. 
that's under a pound, 0.8. But anyway, nonetheless, it's a success, and I wrote that down. Then I wrote a section on planning my day. It was nighttime when I wrote this, so I was trying to plan my, sometimes, you know, does your mind ever race and you're always, you're thinking about or anticipating what the next day will be like? Well, you can use your journal to kind of jot down what your plans are for the next day if you like. I just wrote a loose outline of what my plans were for the day and just that's what that part is there. And then here is, I was trying to make a decision if I should sell something and I wrote out the pros and cons. So it's, this is my sounding board. This is where I don't want to go to someone and be like, oh, you know, gee, should I sell my iPad? No, I mean, nobody wants to hear that. Who cares if I sell my iPad or not? But this is something I can write down in my journal, pros and cons on something, and that way I can get it out of my head and I can see and it can help me make a decision. Um, as you can see, I write in my journal with different ink pens, and I use uh, a lovely erasable ink pens. I'll link them below if you're interested, but I love using erasable ink pens. And I like to, there's no particular color coding. I just wanted to use the different colors because I don't use the different colors often in my planner, so I just try to use the different colors up here. Now, what I did here is I started taking pictures and what I do is just go to a drugstore and print them off and it's, it's really inexpensive and I get four of these small size pictures on one um, photo and what I do is I take a paper cutter and just cut four photos from one photograph if that makes sense and I just put little photos in here because I thought it would be nice when I'm flipping through later on in life or if anyone looks back on this to actually see what I was talking about. On this particular day, I painted my daughter's room a beautiful blue color, and I just took a picture of the color there. I like making a note of home projects. When someone reads my journal later on, they'll be able to actually see what I was going through or what was on my mind and what I was thinking or how my house came to be the way it was. Unfortunately, on this day, my husband um, was taken to the emergency room and there's a picture of him in the hospital and this part was all about my feelings during that time it was a very trying time I have people to talk to but a journal is a great way to get out those thoughts it could be that you have thoughts but it's the time of the night where no one is up and you can't speak to anyone but by all means do talk to people about your problems nothing's wrong with that but sometimes people are not available to talk to and the journal is available at any time on this particular day we went to the movies and I just took a picture of my dad and my nephews because it was just a nice time together and again as you can see here for each entry I write what I am grateful for I wrote here, I'm grateful that my daughter made the first round of cuts at volleyball. My daughter plays volleyball, and here she is. She actually made the middle school volleyball team, so I have a couple of pictures of her there. I'm not a big washi tape person, but I do use washi tape in my journal because when I'm writing in my journal, I actually have a little free time, um, but I don't have much time of it, so you won't see much washi tape in here. There's another picture of my daughter's room after it's painted and was all put together. Here I wrote down some goals that were on my mind and some other things that I wanted to do. Here is a touching picture of my husband in the hospital bed and my daughter hugging him in the hospital bed. And just I'm gonna just flip through a little more quickly here. It's a picture of a rug that I bought and I was just kind of making fun that as soon as I bought the rug and put it down on the floor, my dog went and laid on the rug. Some pictures of family here so just quickly I'm just gonna quickly flip through this is the day my husband was actually released from the hospital he was in there several days and he was just so happy to go home here uh, I was talking about my genealogy this is actually like a World War II um, card of my ancestor so I was talking about the genealogy research that I did there um, this is more pictures of my daughter 
um, and I wanted to really take those pictures because she had just gotten her hair braided and I wanted to um, have that written somewhere about how our hair looked that day. So some of the things that I wrote in here, and this is the last entry, I wrote that I am grateful that my husband is in my life. Happy anniversary, honey. So these are just the thoughts that I had, and the rest of the pages are blank. So I hope you found this video helpful and gave you some hints and hopefully some ideas on how you can use those beautiful journals out there. Hey, please let me know in the comments if you use a journal or if you've been thinking about using a journal and please let me know how you use your journal. Like what types of things do you actually write in your journal? I would love hearing from you. I love, I love, love comments. So feel free to comment below. Just a quick note, all of the items shown in this video will be listed in the description area of this video. Also, if you would like to save 20% on your order, you can go to my website, tanyaplans.com. Click on this top link here, which will take you to the planner website. Once you add an item to your cart, you can go to checkout. And if you scroll down a little bit, there is an area for promo code you would simply right click and click paste and the current promo code to save 20% will be pasted in the field for you. This is Tanya helping you feel more organized so this will be your best year yet. Take care.